So in this video, I want to share with you the power of the masculine voice. And when used correctly, well, amazing things can happen. Let's put it that way. And I'm going to give you a few simple tricks and techniques to develop your own voice to be the powerful seducer that you were meant to be. So let's dive in. But before we do, if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to also share with you one trick or one technique I figured out that if used with the voice, you got to get the voice down first, can radically increase your success with women. So with that said, let's talk about your voice. The masculine voice is very powerful to women. You see, women aren't as visual as men. We're really visual. We see the curves of a beautiful woman and it can ignite a fire inside of us. Well, the female version of that is often voice. It's what they hear. You see, women are often seduced to the ears. A woman might see a man that's visually stunning and be drawn to him, but they often get turned off when they walk over and start talking to him. Maybe his voice is too high pitched. Maybe he's apologizing in his vocal tone. Maybe he's speaking really nervous and reactively. And she's almost disappointed because he looks so good, but the voice wasn't there. Remember what he looked like? He wasn't bad. Had a shot till he opened his mouth. Thank you. Yep. It's almost like, just say less, just shut up so I can enjoy looking at you because honestly, I can't listen to your voice. That's how I see a lot of women thinking when they walk up to these really good looking guys. On the other side, I've seen guys that aren't that good looking. They're average looking, average height, yet they've got the voice. They got the ability to seduce women through vocal tone. They know how to uh, pause. They know how to work the tones. They know how to be proactive in their vocal tone. They know how to bring emotion through their voice. And all this has a powerful effect on women. So let's say you go to look at porn for men. That's a very visual thing. But when you go to look at what women go to for porn, their version of porn, it's typically a romance novel. It's something they read that has a lot of sexual, uh, sexual stories in it. They're imagining the stories, through the, but they're imagining through the ears. They're listening, they're taking it in auditorily. This is why guys that have a good voice, a good uh, banter, a good patter can be so seductive to women. Now, I can't tell you throughout the years how many times I've had a woman say to me, I love listening to your voice. I love hearing your voice. Your voice is so sexy. Your voice is so relaxing. Your voice it turns me on. Different things like this. And I take that as a compliment because I didn't always have a good voice. It took me a lot of time to develop. In the beginning, I had a really reactive voice. I was very nervous. I was very jittery. I spoke really fast. I spoke too fast. You'll see even, that I even spoke faster in a lot of my early videos. I didn't work pauses. I hated silence. I had an uptone at the end of my sentences. I'd say, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Oh, where are you from? Are you, what are you doing today? And that, that implies almost an apology or a question mark at the end of your sentences. I would race. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. Where are you from? Oh, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing tonight? And there's almost a, a begging or a pleading in that rushing energy. And I had to retrain myself to really feel the core of my body. The other thing I was doing was speaking from my head. And if you notice, I'm demonstrating each of these as, as I talk about them. I'd go up here, lock out of my body, and I'd be like, hi, how you doing? My name's Brian, where are you from? Oh, really nice to meet you. And there's a sense of a roboticness because all your emotions are accessed to the center pillar of your body. And now I'm not accessing my emotions anymore. I'm not feeling them. And if you really want to connect with another human being, let alone a beautiful woman, you've got to relate through emotions because we relate through feeling and emotions. We get turned on through turn on. We get, we get appreciation through appreciation being given to us or curiosity or something of that nature. So as I speak, if I open my heart more and I say, you know, there's something about you and I pause and sit with that tension, I'm going to do it again. There's just something about you. I take a moment and I enjoy what I just said. Now listen to what I said. I said it in a deeper tone. I felt my body. I felt my heart. I'm speaking that primarily for my heart. There's something about you. It's really interesting. And I paused when I did it the, the second time. And I spoke with a down tone. I spoke with my deeper voice. I spoke down at the end of my sentences. And I paused at the end of my sentence to really sit in the feeling I created. Now where another mistake that a lot of guys make is at the end of their sentences, when they pause, they start thinking. So they'll say, there's something about you. You're really interesting. And they go up here to think and listen. 
and it kills the whole feeling. And that doesn't work either. So let's get into this right now. What specifically can you do to improve your voice today? Number one, speak with a lower tone. Learn, instead of speaking up here, hey, how you doing? Speak down here, relax into your gut, relax and you feel your stomach, feel your heart, and speak with power and strength and in your lower register without forcing. Don't force down either. Don't go, hey, how you doing? Start to sound weird. Learn to relax into your body. That's one of the easiest and quickest things you can do. If you can't do that easily, then start taking vocal classes and find your range. Maybe you don't have as deep of a voice as I do, but if you find your spot where you're, where you're comfortable at your depth, and it's gonna sound natural, it's gonna sound nice. And when you put everything else I'm gonna talk about in this video together, it's even gonna sound better. The second thing you can do is learn to speak slower. Make women wait for your next word. Use pauses. Relax into the pauses. Don't think during the pauses. Learn to say something and just be calm and enjoy her. Like for example, if I say, I'm enjoying you, I can sit there and enjoy you in the pause. Because I gotta tell you, so many guys, men, rush through their sentences and don't leave a pause. It's almost like if they pause, they feel like something's gonna go wrong. But that's the time you really take each other in and appreciate each other. You give each other a moment to connect on a deeper level. So number three, learn to speak with the end of your sentences in a slight downward energy. What a lot of guys do is they say, hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. And even if they got a deep voice, you can still do that. I can be like, hey, how you doing? My name's Brian, where are you from? And what you wanna to learn to do is speak a little bit more down. Occasionally it's fine, but when I'm speaking and I say, hey, enjoy the pause. How you doing? My name's Brian. And do you hear that drop when I said my name? What's your name? Hear that drop again? It almost feels a little bit more like a statement where when I go, what's your name? It feels a little bit more like a question. And that down tone really feels more powerful and commanding. It brings out a sense of leadership and masculinity. And this is something you can practice with everybody. Matter of fact, all of these can be practiced with everybody. And so you could start practicing with the barista. You can start practicing talking this way with your friends. Get comfortable, naturalize it, make it a part of you. And number four, this one was kind of covered. I think I kind of mentioned it, but I'm gonna go in and say it specifically, which is slow down. Yes, you've got pauses, which indicates you're slowing down a bit, but there's actually slowing down in the sentences too. Say the sentences a little slower, a little bit more in a peaceful way. It's a little different than pausing because you could speak fast and pause and then continue to speak fast and pause. And for a lot of people that are trying to get this down, they have to think about it a little bit before they get it right. So if you notice the difference when I speak fast and then go, hey, so where are you from? Really, that's interesting. Or if I say, hey, where are you from? That's interesting. I've been there once. Tell me more about that. What do what, what, what you, like, you like about living there? I'm curious. And you start to play with that energy a little bit more. It's so much more powerful. So I've got one more I want to give you to really improve your voice and give you that masculine, powerful voice. Plus, I want to give you the bonus. Before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share, and put a comment below. Those comments are really important to us. And also the uh, uh, subscribing is super important. We're on a fast track to get to that 100,000 subscribers and we're working on really reinventing this YouTube channel to give you the best content possible. So it'd be awesome if you could help us get to that next level. So let's get to number five. Number five to me is one of the most important. I've seen people screw a lot of this other stuff up, but they get number five right. So a lot of stuff still works for them. It's also the one that's the most challenging, but when you get it, it starts to become a part of who you are a natural part of who you are. And that is the embodiment piece. You got to learn to feel the emotions and let them come through your, your vocal cords, come through your sound. Just like a singer, when a singer sings in feeling, 
They can move somebody. They can cause them to come to tears or they can cause them to experience joy. This is why we get addicted to our favorite singers. Great speakers can do this too. But when you're out flirting and seducing and having fun, learning to bring real emotion through your voice is so powerful. Learning to feel your heart and actually feel curiosity while you speak and say stuff like, that's interesting. Tell me more about that. Or appreciation. Wow, I really like that. That's cool. Or I could use appreciation with a push. You are trouble, aren't you? Or how about we step down a little deeper and we go into power. You're trouble, aren't you? There's a little push and a challenge on that. You can feel it in my gut. Or you drop all the way down to your turn on and you say something like, there's definitely something about you. You're trouble. You know, why are you looking at me like that? Stop looking at me like that. You know, and starting to play, starting to have fun, starting to drop down really low into your body using these deeper vocal tones. So if you want to learn more about embodiment, I highly recommend you check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. We'll put a link somewhere in here where I talk a lot about the embodiment of different parts of your body and how to communicate them powerfully uh, with women around you. It takes a little bit of practice to get the embodiment piece if you don't already have it. If you're in your head like I used to be, really stuck. Hi, my name is Brian. Where are you from? And you don't know how to say hi to people the natural way, you know, and, and, and you're speaking up and you're racing and you're all over the place. Then you start learning to slow down. You start learning to drop into your heart more. You start learning to drop into your turn on more, enjoy your body more. And then you're like, hi, my name is Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, interesting. Oh, I've been there once. I don't know. I don't know about that place. You're really from that place? I don't know about that place. You know, you just start learning to play. You start learning to flirt. You start learning to slow down. You start learning to enjoy your body. Well, that's what that book teaches. So check out The Art of Fearless Seduction. Like I said, there's a link somewhere in the video. And with that said, I want to jump forward to the bonus content I told you about. One of the most powerful things I've discovered with voice is as my voice has gotten better, I move as quickly as I can when I get a girl's number to be able to do voice texts. And this is money. As more and more apps online are starting to allow for voice text and voice communication, I immediately move to the voice. There's so much more that gets conveyed through a vocal text. So if you get a girl's phone number and then you send her a voice message, hey, it's good meeting you. You know, maybe you just met her on Tinder and you're like, hey, it's nice to talk to you in person. How's your day going? A lot, a lot of the women love it. They'll say, oh, your voice is so sexy, you know, and they're really listening to your vocal tone and it gives them a deeper sense of who you are. It adds another element if you've got a developed voice. Now you're gonna notice a lot of these women won't send a voice text back. You can ask them to, you tease them, but they get nervous, especially when you've got a really good voice. And that's fun to play with too. So if you really wanna have some fun, get this vocal piece down. Move women to voice text as fast as possible. Um, I believe it's Bumble has that voice message option that you can go to almost right away. And uh, Anthony, who uh, is one of the fearless coaches, he loves to jump right onto that vocal piece as quick as he can on Bumble. That's why he loved Bumble so much, because he's got a good voice and it would light women up really fast. So remember that piece, get that voice down, get through these five steps, really nail them down, and then immediately start moving women to voice text. Use something like Bumble, move them to a phone number as quick as possible, and watch your results skyrocket. So hopefully you're enjoying this video. But before I go, I want to invite you to check out uh, the fearlessman.com and check out our events page. We have events going on uh, all year long. We have the our flagship workshop, the experience, plus a lot of other events that help you to reinvent who you're being as a man. Whether it's in your dating life, your limiting beliefs, whatever it is, we can help you make that shift like we have with hundreds if not thousands of other men. The fearless coaches, in my opinion, are some of the best in the industry. They've got massive amounts of training and we work hard to really shift your life. So if you're looking for something like coaching in your life, you're looking for something to change your life, to have a huge impact, this might be the thing that changes you. Coaching is what radically shifted my life. When I went out and got a mentor, my whole life began to change. So I wanna invite you into that possibility too. If you've been stuck in this area for a long time, definitely check out thefearlessman.com in the events page. And if you want to talk to one of our coaches, uh, you can find a link in the events page to get a hold of a coach. 
and talk about our services, what we do, or if you just want to ask them a question. Hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, make sure to comment, make sure to hit that bell notification, all that stuff. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.